Today marks 72 years since Roanoke native Henrietta Lacks died from cancer. Now the city is giving her some long overdue recognition. The 31 year old's death has brought about major contributions to science, making her one of the most important people to have ever lived. Yeah, two years after the Roanoke City Council voted unanimously to rename Lee Plaza, Henrietta Lacks Plaza, the city unveils a monument honoring the woman many consider to be the mother of modern medicine. WFXR's Hazel Marie Anderson was at that unveiling. A crowd of about a hundred cheered as they see for the first time a monument honoring Henrietta Lacks, a woman said to be a medical miracle. Yesteryear is now today. With her sales and with her legacy, I hope that it carries on. After the married mother of five died in 1951, doctors took samples of Lacks' tumor without her permission. They soon made a shocking discovery. Unlike most cells, Lacks' cells didn't die. In fact, they continued to regenerate. But she literally changed the world. And it's, it's somewhat biblical when you think about it. Known as HeLa cells, they have been used in countless medical studies that have paved the way for advancements in HIV, polio, in vitro fertilization, gene mapping, and cancer treatments. And those same cells are still being used today. But the identity of the woman who contributed these virtually immortal cells remain unknown until decades after her death. She is the history lesson for all medical institutions, research centers, and physicians and scientists. Her legacy means something to not more, to more than just the city of Roanoke. Roanoke artist Bryce Cobbs created the drawing that Blacksburg sculptor Larry Beechel used to build the statue. Cobbs said he wanted to portray Lax as a powerful and dignified figure. And I wanted the pose to be something that was showed a lot of dignity and kind of invited people to kind of walk up to it. And, and if you didn't know who Henrietta Lacks was, I feel like this, the pose and this statue will really pique your interest these days now, yeah. When the Roanoke City Council voted in 2021 to remove the name of Confederate General Robert E. Lee from Lee Plaza, it was decided to give Henrietta Lacks the honor she's been denied. Now her statue stands on the pedestal once reserved for a Confederate general. And let us draw strength from her story. In Roanoke, Hazel Marie Anderson, WFXR News.